So now I'll show you a little bit about the MQC sensor, which stands for milk quality control. This is one of the sensors. There's one per quarter. Milk goes in one end and out to the other. It has a PCB in the bottom and it just communicates with the rest of the robot by this cable. The mounts are only robots up underneath here. And like I said before, this is one of the areas you want to be a little bit careful of because it's only got a small rubble seal to seal it uh, against water and rest. Um, in cross section, the sensor looks like this. Milk flows through it, and the sensors are sat in the bottom there, the PCB underneath. And this sensor measures conductivity, the flow rate of the milk, fat and protein percentages in the milk, milk colour, and the temperature of the milk as well for every quarter. It's important that that information is as accurate as possible, and so we want to keep these sensors as clean as possible. That way Horizon or T4C is using the most accurate, up-to-date information to give you the health advice. The best way of keeping these sensors clean is to use the lily acid. It's there to remove mineral deposits, mainly from the inside of the robot system, but also from these sensors as well. Um, it has surfactants in it, which help it spread round right onto the chemical, round uh, right onto the probes and the sensors in the bottom, and ensure that they're as clean as the possible can be. As a farmer, one thing you can do is make sure that when the robot goes back to the jetty position, you're not losing lots of water around the outside of the teat cup. You can calibrate the arm, or the jetty position might be changing slightly to make sure the majority of the water that comes through there is going down into the teat liners and through to clean these sensors up underneath. I'll show you another video in a second as to why the milk flow measurement is so important.